Hey guys, thanks for coming in. Hello, hello. I wanted to discuss today um, another testimony of mine that also opened my eyes to the Holy Spirit, uh, to God, and what He was doing at that time in my life that really shaped me now, who I am now. Um, so, maybe back in like, when I was young, I was a teenager, um, early 20s. I used to have difficulty with my body not functioning right. Like I was always very tired, um, not feeling well, just feeling like, geez, you know, something is not right here. Um, tired and sleepy. I could take naps. I took naps every day <laughs> when I was in my early 20s. And that wasn't laziness. I, gen I genuinely didn't feel well. Um, so <laughs> I went to the doctor and I would go to the doctor regularly on schedule uh, and I would tell them, you know, I don't feel so good and something's not right. I'm really tired. I'm really sleepy. My hair was starting to like thin out and just break, fall out. I didn't understand like what was wrong, but I mean, I had a ton of hair too. So it wasn't like, you know, extensive or anything like that, but it was a lot for me. I noticed it and I was like, something's not right. So I would go, they wouldn't find anything. Um... One time, my doctor was not there. My regular doctor was not there. She ended up having surgery or something like that. And then I saw a, a nurse practitioner from a different office. Uh, this is the same doctor's office, but from a different office. And so she said to me, I'm good. You, you know, you keep on saying you don't feel well. And I said, yeah, something's not right. So she said, all right, I'm going to follow up. I'm going to do some more testing than what they've done before. I'm going to um, put in for some lab work and move things along. So she did. The lab work came back and she noticed that one of my lab, was, lab results was off and sent me to endocrinology made sure that they did everything that they needed to do. And one of the things that they needed to do was a bone scan. So they did the bone scan, found out that my bones were brittle, found out, this is in my mid twenties, found out that my, um, I was yay close to having osteoporosis in my 20s and 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 I'm a young active person um and they were really perplexed by it couldn't figure out what was really wrong couldn't figure out why this was happening couldn't figure out anything really so I went to church and uh, they were having Daniel fast so this was at the beginning of the year and I decided I'm going to I'm going to fast with my church for the 21 days. And so if you know anything about the Daniel fast, you know you can't have anything processed. So like no um nothing sweet like sweeteners, right? So no honey, no juice unless you juice that thing yourself from a fresh fruit. Um no baking soda, no baking powder, no vinegar. Um, so you can't like use that stuff. You can't bake with those things. Um, no um, flour, white flour, because it's processed. Nothing processed. Nothing from an animal. No cheese, no milk, no eggs. No fish. So you are really down to whole grain. Um, and depending on, you know, how deep you want to go. Um, you're really just really down to whole grain fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds. 
<laughs> you know, water um, and, and fresh juice if you're going to juice your stuff. So I did that. I committed to that for 21 days. And I tell you, it was the first time that I did a Daniel fast. It was the first time that I was like, I fasted for so long. It was the first time that I held on to the word while I fasted because I was I was sick and nobody could help me so again this was about a decade ago yep so I <laughs> so I, I completed the fast the last day of the fast was the worst I planned that I was going to go to Burger King and get chicken nuggets because at the time I used to love chicken nuggets from Burger King and I'm like that's what I want that's what I'm gonna go get so my fast ended I got in my car I ran to Burger King got my chicken nuggets came home popped one of them in my mouth and had to spit it out because it tasted gross it was disgusting and that was the first time I realized how disgusting some of this fast food stuff really is I'm going to just say it. And I said to myself, wow, that's really crazy. And I didn't really know much about what fasting did to the body. Because uh, I didn't fast that much growing up and stuff. Maybe I fasted a few times. And I had said in my mind that I couldn't fast because I needed to eat. Because my blood sugar is going to drop. And I'm going to get dizzy. And I'm going to faint. And I need to eat. So three hours max. And that's it. And after that, uh, uh, and I probably did it once a year, once every two years, maybe once every three years. After that particular fast, though, because I, I needed answers and I needed God to come through and I was doing it corporately. So it helped a lot. Uh, and so realized that this food is not the best for me. It's not the best for my body. It's not good. Why am I eating this stuff? Went back to the doctor, they did another bone scan and realized that my bones improved 7% from the last scan that I did. Now, my endocrinologist said to me, this does not happen. She said, what did you do in a three month period? What did you do? And I told her, I said, I fasted. And she's like, okay. <laughs> she goes, okay, you know, whatever you're doing, keep on doing it uh, because it's helping you. And I said, wow, praise God. So my bones eventually got back to normal. Thank God. Um, had to take my supplements and stuff for a while, but I was taking those and it wasn't helping before that anyways. And, you know, it just, yeah. So I attribute my bones getting better through healing um, from God I was healed and that got me on a journey to really hearing from God when it comes to what goes in my mouth food is a huge topic that unfortunately I feel has been ignored by a lot of Christians. What does the Bible say about food? There's a reason why God has instructed us to eat certain things. People want to downplay the Old Testament because um, well, Jesus came after that and or God said we could eat whatever we want. Well, yeah, and then people didn't live as long anymore. So, <laughs> I mean, so we're going to talk about that in another video. But, you know, be vigilant about what God is saying to you about your body. The things that go in your mouth matters. If you're eating out all the time and you're not healthy, you're not well, stop eating it, okay? Do a Daniel fast, 
I'm not even going to say if you can, you know, because even if you have diabetes, you can still eat beans. You can still eat to get your protein and stuff. You can still, it, it takes a lot though. You have to plan this stuff out. So like fasting, intentional fasting, if you're going to do like a Daniel fast, you really have to plan it. It's not like I get up and I'm like, oh, just not going to eat whatever for 21 days. Like you have to really plan, you know, because it takes a lot. It takes a lot. It's a lot of work to get your plan together, your meal plans together to get uh, intentional about studying the word, about uh, praying, you know, you can't just, you know, Daniel fast is a bit intense. Even if you do like an Esther fast, which is three days of dry, three days dry fast, like no food, no water. Um, that's, you have to plan that, you know? So if you're going to do extensive fasting, you have to seek God you have to seek his guidance, seek his, his leadership on that. And, um, miracles can happen from it. Miracles. I'm telling you from that fast alone, it changed not only me, but I can say it changed even my mom because then my mom realized like, oh my gosh, this girl, she, she got a healing. And then she started to look at what she was eating See, it's not just about, you know, the spiritual, um, it's not about the spiritual benefits only. You get spiritual benefits, but God will use that fast for physical benefits as well. So, you know, you, if you don't know much about fasting, um, I can always do a video on that as well. Um. Because you can't just be living any old kind of way and then say, I'm going to go fast. Um, you got to be careful. So, <laughs> yeah. So that was my tidbit for today. Um, listen to the Lord. Seek him about your fast. But expect your miracle in your fast. Expect your miracle whatever it is whether it's a health thing that you need cleared up whether it's a financial thing whether it's a relational thing um whatever you you expect your miracle while you're fasting all right so i just wanted to share that with you guys today and let me know um if you have anything that you would like for me to touch on um, and I'll add some scriptures to this. I'm going to always add scriptures to my stuff because scriptures help you to study, right? You got to go back and read, go back and read, go back and read, read the Bible, read the Bible. Don't just read it, read it and read it and read it, study it and study it and study it. Pray before you read it, pray after you read it. Um, and God will speak. He will. All right. All right, people.